Hey y'all, I hope everybody's having a great day today. It's December 15th, 2017. I'm about four weeks away from starting my 2018 Appalachian Trail through hike. I leave January 13th from Springer Mountain, Georgia, headed northbound. Uh, I've been wanting to put a gear list video together for a while now. I haven't had the time. I haven't had all the pieces to my kit. Uh, but I have all everything now, so I'm going to go ahead and get a gear list together and throw it out there for y'all. I'm going to try to keep this short. I know nobody likes watching 30-minute, 45-minute long videos. Uh, I can't make any promises. It always seems to go longer than it should when you make these things. Um, but I'm going to try to keep it less than 20 minutes. If not, I apologize in advance. Um, so, all right, y'all. Hope everybody's having a great day. All right, guys. So, we're going to break this gear video into different sections. The first section we're going to cover is my big three. I'll be using the Osprey Exos 58. Uh, when I first got it, it was a little hard to fit everything in there. But the way I see it, the more room you have, the more stuff you're going to carry, the more heavy you're going to be. So it's better to have, you know, somewhat of a, a hard time getting everything in there than having too much room and having the ability to take too much stuff with you, especially stuff you don't need. Um, the tent I'll be carrying is the Henry Shires Tarp Tent, the uh, Notch. It's a one man. I'm debating on whether to get a two man or keep the one man. I kind of want a little more room. Uh, the notch is great, but it's so small. It's, you can't put your boots or your hiking bag or anything else inside the tent with you unless you put them up under your legs. And it's hard to sleep like that in this tent. So I'm debating on getting another tent, a bigger, bigger, you know, like a two man. If y'all have any suggestions, leave a comment below. Uh, let me know why it's a good tent and why you would uh, recommend it. And my sleeping bag I'll be carrying is the Kelty Cosmic Down 20 degree. It um, is the model before they started treating their down uh, with water resistant material. Um, but as long as you keep it dry, you should be fine. I'm gonna probably switch out the bag it's in now for a dry sack, just to have a little added extra protection. Uh, there's also a sleeping bag liner inside the bag. Uh, it's more, it's like a silk material that's used to decrease the humidity while you're sleeping so you're not waking up, you know, soaking wet from sweat. So it, it does its job. It adds a little warmth, but not enough to know it. So in the next section, I'll show you what I'm adding to the sleeping bag to get the temperature down to more along the lines of single digits up in the higher elevations, so you're not going to freeze to death. All right, so next we'll finish my sleep system. Uh, for added warmth at nights when it's real cold, I'll be using a fleece sleeping bag liner. I got it off Amazon for 20 bucks. It's real comfortable. It's a nice uh, soft fleece. It adds a lot of warmth to your bag, really more than you need. But when it's real cold, especially up in the higher elevations in the Smokies, that thing will come in handy. For my sleep pillow, I'll be using the Nature Hike Outdoors uh, blow-up pillow. It's real comfortable, weighs next to nothing. Uh, I also got it off Amazon. For my sleeping pad, I'll be using the REI Flash. It's two and a half inches thick. Uh, it's not self-inflating, so it's a pain to blow up after a long day's hiking, but the sleep you get off of it, it's worth it. Um, at night, I'll be wearing some fleece long john bottoms as well as an REI long sleeve uh, t-shirt and then I've got some REI wool socks. Alright so next we'll cover the rest of my hiking clothes. I'm going to bring two pairs of ex officio boxers, a top and bottom set of REI long johns, an REI moisture wicking quick drying short sleeve t-shirt, a set of mittens and gloves, uh, I've done multiple backpacking trips and gloves, it doesn't matter what temperature it is, how thick they are, how much they cost, your fingers always get cold in gloves for some reason. So I'm going to bring some mittens along. If I have to, I'll use both of them, but I think the mittens are, are going to probably work a little better than the gloves. I'm going to have a pair of Columbia hiking pants. These are the convertible ones, so you can also turn them into shorts by zipping the legs off. I'm going to have three pairs of darn tough socks. There's only two pictured here. 
I got to go buy another one, but I'm going to have three pairs. I'm going to have a small camp towel. I'm going to have a fleece neck gaiter. And then a black uh, toboggan. And then for my insulating layer, I'm going to use the Rab Xeon X uh, synthetic jacket. The reason why I went to synthetic over down was because if synthetic gets wet, it still holds some of its R value. So you're still going to be somewhat warm. If down gets wet, you're in trouble. And guys, I forgot to mention in the previous section, all my hiker clothes are going in a Sea to Summit Ultra Seal dry bag. And that's going to be inside the trash bag liner to make sure they stay dry. For my rain gear, I'm going to have a set of Frog Tog bottoms. They're cheap, lightweight. You can pick them up at Walmart. Uh, pack rain cover is going to be the REI Ducks Back. This is the 60 liter. Uh, it'll, well, it'll fit over a 60 liter uh, bag. And then I've got a Columbia rain jacket. All right, so we had a little change of scenery, but now I'm going to cover my cook kit and my water filtration system. I'll be using a 20 liter Sea to Summit Ultra Seal dry bag for my food bag. I've got 25 feet of 550 paracord with a carabiner attached to it. I'll be using a Sea to Summit aluminum long handled spork. Got a Bic lighter, pocket folder. I'm using the MSR pocket rocket. This thing's great. Boils rock water real quick, especially in conjunction with the GSI Soloist uh, pot. I'll be bringing the cup along with some aluminum foil to make a windscreen when the wind picks up. And then I've got a little GSI uh, salt and pepper shaker I'll be bringing along as well for my water filtration system I'm going to be using the Sawyer squeeze this is the uh, large version I've used both the large and the small and the large has a way better flow rate be bringing the syringe along I might leave it here it just works a lot easier to back flush with the syringe I've got a uh, some aquamira or I'm sorry potable ogle tablets just in case something happens and I need a backup I'm be bringing a two liter platypus along with a liter smart water bottle and a uh, smaller smart water bottle. All right, and this is the rest of my hiking gear. I've got the outdoor products trekking poles. I've got some Le Lecky Legacies coming, but they're not here yet, so I've just got these in for a substitute. I've got some duct tape wrapped around it, and I'll have a uh, needle in there in case I need to do any repairs. I'm going to be bringing the Casio triple sensor uh, watch. It's got a barometer, an altimeter, and a compass on it. It also tells you the temperature. I'm going to be bringing a stick pick along with the phone adapter. I'll be filming with my phone and this right here attaches straight to your hiking poles. I've got a black diamond spot headlamp, some extra batteries, a set of Apple earbuds, cords, an Amazon Basics 10,000 milliamp uh, battery pack with an Amazon Basics double wall charger. I've got a foam pad I cut up as a seat, a toilet paper, hand sanitizer, can opener, toothbrush, toothpaste, dental floss, Luco tape, chapstick ear uh, earplugs, uh, fingernail clippers, and I've got I will have some more medication in there, but for right now I've got some Benadryl. And I'm also missing some camp shoes that I plan on acquiring shortly. And all that will go into this stuff sack. Alright guys, so that completes my Gearless video. I hope everybody enjoys it. I'm sorry I had to break it up in sections, but that was the only way I could do it. Uh, if y'all have any questions or concerns, feel free to comment. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Alright guys.